from a market and an investment point of view, uh, we had recently JP Morgan calling China uninvestable. Then they said the note was published in error. But strategically, how does this COVID narrative and the economic slowdown impact allocation towards China from your perspective? I, I think the current uh, situation is no different than you know, all the policies we saw uh, being implemented in China the past 10 years. I can give you many examples of situations where China became non-investable or was about to blow up, you know, cement industry restructuring, uh, coal industry restructuring, uh, wealth management pro products restructuring, et cetera, et cetera, real estate market uh, restructuring. So a lot of things have happened uh, from a regulatory and economic management perspective in China. And I mean, all in all, China has succeeded in going through these periods of restructuring and has continued to, to grow. And so I think uh, you know, the reason we wrote the paper we wrote on, on that policy is to say that you know, the policy is what it is. Uh, you might argue that it makes economic sense if you look at the numbers and the potential cost to the economy in the future, but it is important to consider the implementation. And I think from our perspective, this is where we could potentially see a lot of uh, improvement. And if you look at how the Schengen situation is being treated versus the Beijing situation, you're seeing some changes in the way um, things are being handled. And I think from our perspective, from an investment perspective, the critical point is going to go through this ability of the government to um, improve the way they're handling um, this policy, implementing it, 